Otten's out the back door. Couldn't find Corey. Quick hands. Ends up with Sewell. Birchall to Hodge, who marks on the member's side. Half-back flank. Short to Shields. This is what they've been doing so much of this season. Maintaining possession of the footy through uncontested marks. Here you see 15 metre ball, just try and deny the opposition the footy. Well, their average possession this year, Lucas travelled 15 metres. It's a great kick. It is. Off to Suckling. Now, he's a good kick, but oh. that is an absolute shank. It might come off all right in the end. Schoenmaker's kept his feet. Gets onto the left, and that's a beautiful kick to Rioli, who is 50 metres out from goal. Oh, ran off on his own in the goal yes, square. He kicks into the goal square. Franklin takes the mark. You see the Cats defenders there. It was Harry Taylor throwing his arms around, trying to work out how did Renouf get on his own. Franklin improves the angle and kicks the goal. Then they closed him down, but uh, first blood to the Hawks. Good running from Renouf, who was a late inclusion, Max Bailey. He just worked a little harder than, than uh, Vardy, his opponent. Pushed all the way down to the goal square. Caught the defence uh, off guard for the Cats. Set up the goal to Big Buddy. Garland will get there first. Always cool in the crisis. And just chips to Selwyn in the back pocket. Play on. Oh, it's a dangerous kick. He's cocked it up to Shields. Gets the handball away. Here's an opportunity. Saul into the open goal. And to me, this is the adjustment in the game plan that they've made from last year is they don't, in 2011, take that kamikaze kick into the corridor when it's not on. I reckon most of this year that would have gone down the boundary line and been a safer exit. Selwyn decided to try and kick the miracle ball. Turnover, and he's paid the ultimate. Josh Hunt with the job on Surreoli. So damaging last week. Renoff got the tap. And Shields leaves it for Savage. Now Lewis finds some space. Kicks for goal. Makes a good fist of it. And there is a badly needed goal for the Hawks. He's been terrific. He's been hard at it. Been aggressive. Got his handballs away when they've been on top of him. And uh, he's really showing the way for the Hawks. And Silwood got picked off at the uh, contest there. I'd like to have another look at that one. Renouf just coming back into the side, so they're going to try and support young Renouf for every time they can. Cats have been just in front of the clearances, 12 to 9. Make it 13 9 with that one. There's Piopolo way too high. Hawks will be happy they've got a free kick, particularly when around the neck. <laughs> and a little delicate kick from Franklin. Another one. Rains at Pauls. Little handball off to Mitchell. That's all right as well. And the short stuff is effective for them here. Oh, Franklin just got uh, cleaned up by Bartel in the Margins 50. So what happened? Buddy's running back into uh, 50. And take a look at this. Bartel thought, well, I'm not going to let you get past. And he made the most of it, Buddy. And is that a 50 though? Maybe a little lucky, I reckon. Well, Young puts it through, and the Hawks to keep the couple in a row. You got to Clarkson oh. quarter time. Well, this oh, that's is dangerous. Yeah, very it's be dangerous. Turned over. And Rioli's there. Oh, they're getting each other's way a little bit. Burgoyne and Rioli will kick it. You know he will. It's just one point the difference. It's about to make the point that. The difference at the start of the second quarter is that they're making it a lot harder for the Cats coming out of their own defence. Their forward pressure has gone up. They're not able to just waltz it away as they did in the uh, first quarter. Free kicks this quarter, 4-2 to Hawthorne. As the kick goes back to half forward, Lonigan following Buddy up the ground. And there's a rare venture into the Geelong forward area. Stokes not as clean as he would have liked to be. Johnson trying to dance his way around Shields. Duncan is right on that line. Hawks will be happy to work it over. Bartel looking for a free. McBurney lets it go. Mitchell. Oh, Savage. Oh, hang on. Yeah, this is where it's confusing, isn't it? Because well, the, the umpires had two bites at the cherry there. Because the Hawks the uh, defender yeah, decided to play on there. Stevie Johnson and Sam Mitchell going at it, but... The Hawks made the choice to play on then. 
the handball skill was missed. Yeah, got... that's bad luck. And the umpire said play on. It's confusing. It's bandage. So the Hawks have possession. Murphy. That's a good kick. Spots up Birch. Well, who can go here? He's got options in the middle, but he decides to bang it long to Franklin in a one-on-one -on -one for a change. Franklin can't mark. Well done, Lonigan. Great stuff from the defender. Taylor Hunt got an unkind bounce. Sewell dives on top of it. Now releases to Burgoyne to Hodge. Just squeezes Clever. the kick cleverly to Whitecross. Whitecross breaks the tackle and puts the Hawks in front. Got it to the advantage of Whitecross and the kid finished off. Here's, look at Steve Johnson and Sam Mitchell. Tangle or two in round five, and this Steve Johnson. Tip for tap there. Yeah, giving a bit back. Hawthorne in front by five points. Dramatic turnaround in this game. Oh. Rioli inserted into the middle. He can do things few others can. Deep the kick. It falls for Burgoyne. He thrives on this, and Buddy Franklin runs it in for another one. The Hawks have lit up the MCG. That You called it beautifully, Hutto. Not many other players in the game get out of this situation. I let him go. Straight through, runs past five, and then he gets uh, a contest. Hodge, Burgoyne with his skill level to Franklin. You get that combination enough times tonight, and the Hawks will be unstoppable. Well, this is the biggest challenge Geelong's had this year. Started so well, and now they've had uh, five, five goals in goals. ten minutes. Yeah, five goals kicked against them in ten minutes. Game, uh, massive game for both clubs. It's great courage, this. Really just kept his eye on the ball all the way and deserved to come up with a big play there. Ottens are oh, beautifully read by Mitchell, generating something off halfback. Burgoyne to one on one. Mackey and Ruffhead, but a good contest. Ruffhead wins this one and wins it hands down. Looks straight ahead and coming. Hard straight at him with Jim. White Cross. That throw back by Taylor Hunt to Ruffy was a terrible throw because he threw it on the preferred left side of Ruffy. All they had to do was put it on the boot and away they go. Franklin was moving for a long time and he got there. But so did Lonigan at the right time. Sewell withstood a couple of tackles, but the handball wasn't so good. Holding the man free kick to Mackey. Advantage taken by Ling. Oh, that wasn't such a good decision. Straight to Rioli. He decides not to press press on straight away. Now, in the middle of the ground, and they congregate the Hawks. Murphy with the mark, but he's still calling for it. Lonigan still playing him in front. And the kick heads in that direction. Goes back towards the top of the square. It's got out the back, and Franklin, oh, he did his best to miss it, but he's put it through. And that's an important goal. It's his third. They just spelled out the back, but they're getting a number back on him too often. He looks... To be moving really well. I reckon he's got the capability of kicking a big bag. Just got to try and find him on his own a little more. Thanks, Buddy Franklin kicking a much needed goal for the Hawks. His third in not such good news for the Hawks. So Clinton Young, he struggled in this quarter with a bit of a calf issue. He has been subbed out of the game. He's long left footers into the forward line have been effective too in the first half. Cannot get a run at it, Clinton Young. Suckling, sweeping handball to Lewis, off to Cyril. Cyril can kick a goal from here. It's coming back, but not enough. <laughs> Big throw, it's a Hawthorne free kick. Right? Ottens cannot believe it. Not <laughs> short or long. Let's have a look at the replay. And against Ottens on Renouf and... I don't think Renouf thought it was his free kick. Well, he's no gimme from here, boys. <laughs> In fact, he's no gimme from the goal square. So the not Cats... Very, not very faithful of you, Stephen. He's not the best set shot I've ever seen, Anthony. Brett ran off to make it a six-point ball game at half-time. He's kicked eight goals, 13 in his career. 3-1 this year, though. Renoff comes in. It was never in doubt. Gets by a goal at half time. What a remarkable, extraordinary set.